It was good, yeah. I got to go uh, watch my brother play a couple games at uh, UNH. So uh, I celebrated his 21st birthday, so that was fun. And uh, got our whole family together, which, is, which doesn't happen too often. So it's nice to uh, have a few days like that to just go away. How did he do in the game? They, lo they lost two pretty hard-fought yeah. games, so uh, unfortunate. But I'll go see them again, actually, on Friday. They play uh, they play at home on Friday when we have uh, when we, when we, when we're in Boston. So I'm going to try to scoot, scoot up and uh, catch the game there. And Trevor was there, too? Trevor was there, too, yeah. So all of us were uh, in town and uh, kind of walking down memory lane with uh, our time that we spent there. So it's always good to go back. James, uh, I guess it's like 35 games in 69 days here. What's going to be the biggest challenge with that schedule in the second half for you guys, do you think? Yeah, well, again, I think... Uh, Again, especially since we have a lot of guys who probably haven't played this many games before in the past, uh, the key is just managing uh, managing things and making sure you're taking the time to recover and uh, prepare for the next game. And uh, again, it's, uh, it can be a grind, especially like you said, it's every other night pretty much uh, right down the stretch here. So we know how important all the games are, and you have to do everything you can to try to stay as fresh as possible. Hey, are you going to do anything different than you would have uh, in a previous season because it's so condensed this year? Um, I try to, again, away from the rink, I try to just maybe just relax a little bit more and not do as much uh, in regards to just doing different things around the city, more just hanging around your condo and just taking advantage of all the rest time. So, uh, and it's going to be crucial in a, a year like this to make sure you're doing that. Morgan was out there today. What would it mean to the team if he was able to uh, get back in the lineup, if not tomorrow, relatively soon? Yeah, it's it's huge. I mean, you see all the minutes he plays for us and all the situations. So um, if we can get him back, that'd be awesome. At the beginning of the season, if many people have predicted you guys to be in the position you are right now, has the expectations of what you guys think you are capable of changed in this room based on that first half performance? Yeah, you know what, I think uh, coming into the year there was a lot of unknowns just because we had a lot of guys with not a lot of experience or resume before this and uh, a lot of new guys, so you're never quite sure how quickly that will take to kind of uh, mesh together. But uh, it's been great so far, and the guys have, uh, again, done a great job of buying into what we're trying to do here and getting on the same page. So. Um, Again, we are where we are right now, and uh, there's still a lot of games to be played, and uh, we're just going to have to take it one game at a time. Did you get a chance to see any part of Austin at the All-Star weekend? No, I didn't get a chance to see too much of that. I saw Chris Pronger give a face wash to Justin Bieber, which I thought was pretty good and pretty uh, much on par for, for uh, Prongs. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to see too much of it. James, for the young guys who haven't been part of an NHL playoff race, how would you describe what this stretch is going to be right now? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I mean, uh, we got to enjoy it, too, because, uh, especially playing in this city and uh, – how excited everyone is with uh, the way things have gone so far. Uh, again, there's going to be a lot of excitement, I'm sure, at our games down the stretch here, and it's about using that to our advantage and kind of feeding off that uh, excitement and that energy. And uh, again, at the end of the day, we got to come in and do our job and uh, go from there. The Olympics got a lot of buzz during the All-Star break with obviously the guys commenting on it. How concerned are you about, I guess, the next Olympics and whether NHL players are going to go? Yeah, you know what, I think I, I think I saw uh, Taves say something about it where it would be a, a shame if, we, if our sport wasn't represented the way it could be on a stage like that, and I think that pretty much echoes how I feel. Um, again, on, on a stage like that, it would be a shame if the best players in the world were not that. So um, uh, obviously it has to work out and things uh, need to be figured out logistically, so uh, hopefully we can get all that sorted out.